Hello guys, welcome back for part two. Um as I said, done all the Bombay in it. That's that's not fully percent finished yet, the Bombay. You have to do that later on the stages, but sorry. You now have to put the top ring on to fuselage off. But because it's that detail, I thought I might give it a wash and just show you how I do my washes. Take your black paint, a lot of water, mainly water. Just, yeah, a lot of water. Now, as you can see, that's too much. So, what we do is a bit more water, just spread it across like that. Now, as you can see, with the wash. You get to every single little detail as possible. So that it all stands out. And as you can see, that's just a bit too much in the middle, so start spreading it out like this. And basically very thin it down a lot. There you go. And all the background bit more drop let's say you go that's the wash done that'll be all nicely completed when it's all together ah there you go now again have to let that to dry I forgot to also mention that the Bombay and all the the flaps and the gears, gear wells and all that, they're all in the Humber RMLO2 camouflage. Uh, that is because all aircraft had, German aircraft had that type of colour, apart from, of course, the cockpit. So, yeah, what we do, guys, we'll leave that to dry. I'll come back and we will attach the wings on. Right, now all the. That said, that's all dry. It's been cut off from the sprue. Uh, just basically on. Now, I have done actually some test fits with this, and one area does fit, and the next area it doesn't. So, what we'll do for now is we'll glue one side. In the camera like that. Just touch glue on both sides like that to hopefully spin it together. Uh, what I think I'll do now is clamp that like that will hopefully yep that's holding in place now. Side, do that area. Uh, it's actually going to be a difficult part because you've got the glass part there. Um, I don't suggest you just elastic band, maybe on that one. Just do elastic band, like so. Try not to right. rear to the seat. Okay, just touch the glue. That's if you can. <laughs> Bit a lot. A fair a fair amount of it because it is like the main joint wings of an aircraft. 
So I think we'll leave that to professionally dry now. As yes, yeah, you can all see the Bombay in there. Hopefully you can. And um, the wash has given it a lot of detail there. So yeah, the best thing is to let that freshly dry overnight. Now some glues don't take that long. Do this uh, apply till set. It doesn't say. Huh, well. I say a good while it will be to do that. So I think the best thing to do now is just to let it properly dry off guys. Which I'm going to do now. So I'm going to let that dry for a couple of hours and see how it goes on. Right so I've let this dry for a couple of hours. So take that off and that, that end seems to be absolutely fine. There's no real worry on that part. Oh this is going to be fun. This is going to be very fun. Ugh. Oh, that's supposed to get that off. It's glued down on one side, but not the other. Yeah, I think the other fill is around the roots here. Do that. Well. Yeah, that will. I don't think that will work. Oh, I think what we just have to see where we put uh, the lower section of the wings on later on. I think then. So far, if it looks okay with it, I'm. You know, happy. So, yeah. Hello again, guys. Um, yes, the wings are now, well, top fuselage wings are fitted. Now for the, see how these gone. Uh, come for a sprue. Oh, come for a sprue. Send the send the edges down once all fitted. That'll fit on like that. Uh, I've just fitted it on that. This is my first time fitting this. I haven't done any practice. Uh, it does look like we have some filler along the wing roots here. That's a common thing in aircraft. Well, that's on like that. I think I place them in all the injector pin holes. There, there, there. Double on the edge. Now you can place that on there, immediately clamp it, if I could, like that, we might need another clamp, nothing out like that, that's not the way to do it, clamp that on like that, Clamp it both together at the same age. Oh, right, forget it, forget it. Just meant certain parts of it like that. Let's try again, shall we? How about that? Yeah, nothing wrong with that now. Thank God. All the edges here. Oh, I've still got a cold, I really hate it now. Clamp that to that, like that. Uh, still recovered a little bit left. Yeah, let's get some more clamps out. You need a fair amount of clamps on this model. Well, I've only got four now. I mean, if you can't, don't have clamps, just use some rubber bands. Help keep the wing and that in place. Now I'll just add a bit more to the fuselage. Here. Okay. 
we go. Same again process except with the other wing. This one's got a bigger gap than the other one. Uh, also, you'll have to glue it lined down like that because if you leave it like that, the wings bend. That was not a thing of the door, yet, so just leave it, leave it like that to dry. Alright, guys, again. Um, while you're away, uh, was it? Uh, I. Because filler low range, but afterwards it did require some filler like around here, wing roots, maybe a bit there where the rear gunners is, along the fuselage, definitely a bit there, a bit there, which I'll just sand down now. Use a normal sand, a bit more water, I think. Do the um, sand water, whatever it's called, technique. <laughs> you know, we can use a very fine file, which I might do in a minute. Just sand down the edges like this. Like that. Um, sand down the... Just keep sand until you Oh, you figure it right. Now I think, that's alright, what I'll do is, I'll use the file. Now, i will choose that one, or maybe that one, I'll use it. For like, problems like that, you should use a round file like these. See, I've got different ones, like, that's a round file. You've got a snowball file and triangle file. They like the main principles for doing your aircraft so you just use the round ones throws like here start off with set the area off around it it's very very likely to send off the areas using circular motions as you go if you prefer just like this That has left a nice smooth effect on. Might need to send it down a bit there. Yeah, the same with the other side as well. So now a bit more, just every so often rub your finger over <laughs> that way. Yeah, okay, I just keep checking my camera because the battery's low. Get that problem sorted for the next video. Just be careful when filing, not to rub any important things out that you may require in the actual aircraft itself do up in there, but I've got a nice scratch on the side fit that off now what I like about the uh, new Airfix kits is that the nice crisp plastic, they're very nice to work with the, this type of plastic is. So as you can see just by that it's done a nice effect on there. If you just keep working at it at different angles you shall be able to get it. So, let's just have a check now. Everything looks in nice mint condition. Uh, I have to file this area. These are the triangle ones. File this area where the machine gun 
it's going to be sticking out because I did leave I still leave a bit of too much filler on that cap. Yeah, it's a bit more off there. That's perfect. Same with the other side. Sorry about that. If you heard that, still full of cold. Uh, yeah, well, I think that should do it for now. Yeah, as you can see, nice fact. Cause uh, the I might have to do some work on here. Right, using flat side very slowly. Long there. Like that. Yeah, let's give it a nice effect. Maybe across here as well. Use do that one way. That turns out. It's a nice area. That's do the other side now. Right. Let's just check in this. Uh, Yeah, if your if it leaves teeth marks or grooves in the model, just use the wet to wet. Well, not wet to wet technique. So that I just gently rub over the top to give it a nice even finish. That's worked very very well. I enjoy this kit very much. Nice smooth finish. Just wipe away. That, nothing left on there. It's a very nice fuselage. That'll be done when it's all primed. That. Yeah. Maybe a bit more here. Underneath that's alright, I'll just set it down. Yep, so. Oh, I should stop doing that. Uh, here. That's another good point. That'll be after send it, send it down as well. Along there. Yep, so. I'll carry on, guys, and see what we have to do. So I'll have to work on this area as well. So just continue sanding until you've got a nice, even coat over your model. Right, here's the decal FX Brides for the uh, instrument panel, sorry, I couldn't think of a word. Uh, so we're going to use the same technique, decal fix, and see if we can get the top off the shape of the table. Uh, so Drop in, put that again. Right, just leave that now, dry off for a minute. Uh, now you just wait for a couple of minutes. Uh, so far, yeah, just sand down the edges of everything. Uh, the issue panel needs to be placed within the cockpit wall here, at the very front. So, that'll have to be 
a bit quite tricky. What's the deck? What are you talking about there? I don't know. So you just have to wait a couple of minutes now to let it dry. So I think I could do. Another step set here. Okay, get it out. Get a bit of all this death effects. Like that. Just touch. Just take some time. Ah, three ninety-two. Right, I've got it, guys. The camera's run out. You know what to do for the rest. But here's the kit, guys. So far, um, like I said, I did do the elevators at the back. Now. These are actually five pieces here. Uh, you've got this top part here, two wings. You'd have to, to connect two small ones here, and then this fine one goes to the middle, and then this piece goes over the top to all fit that in. Uh, yes, very complex but nice operation that Airfix have done. Uh, the next thing is to fit the Stabil the stabilizers, uh, tail fins and the controls onto the muzzle itself. So we have to find B. I can find B. Oh, why? I've still got a cold, I hate it. There, there's the pieces. Right, according to this, Got B14 and B15. Go like that. Uh, B14. What? Yep. This is 14. Right, there you go. Uh, have a look at the kit, guys. Uh, so, yeah, it has to be trimmed down a lot. Uh, fours. Is that 14 or 15? 14 goes at the side like that. That's good. Very nice. Get this one. There. Uh, right, when handling small pieces, guys, you have, of course, for your you modellers, you have to be very careful when cutting it off the sprue. Because you could A, cut your fingers, or B, cut the tiny piece. That's something that you don't really want happen. Right, that's that fitted on. Yeah. Right, now I might have skipped ahead a bit. I added. Um, oh, I thought I was losing. Uh, I added the two undercarriage uh, wing bays at the minute. Uh, I think they'll have to be painted again inside, just to give it a feature. But for now, we're going to stick on these. Uh, I 
think they're like the back of the engine hubs or something like that. So they'll be fixed onto there like that. There is a piece that fits onto there, which is the exhaust, which come out at the top of the aircraft. I will do them after installing this because you have to put the engine on. That fit on like that. Um, there is a few gaps inside the yeah, in this this part of the build. Just to do the best we can. Uh quite a lot. A lot of gaps in there. I don't I don't particularly like it. There's this big gap, great big gap at the top. That will definitely have to have filler in. Unless we squeeze it together like that. If someone gets a small elastic band, that should be fine. Get any left of a small gap underneath here at the bottom. So if we just squeeze it enough, it just might be able to stick properly. Uh, uh, so hold on a second, let's get an elastic band. Do it if you can. Twist and put on like that. Put on like that. So I should hold it in place. It's glue drive. So that's another advanced tip, guys. And same again. Just add that one on. And then we'll see where it goes from then on. I've done all the engine guys. Um, everything's done the engines now, as you can see. That's on because that needs to be fitted on properly. Um, that's on just fine. Um, for recommendation, glue this inside to the inside of the engine car and, be, and also. Um, watch out because they have a very tight fitting and be careful not to break these little pieces inside here. So I think that's where I'll leave it for a minute uh, let it properly dry and there should be pieces that fit on top of there. That should then be all the engines sorted out. So I'm going to leave it like that and thank you for watching part 2 guys and part 3 will be coming soon. Okay so I'll see you soon and take care.